Look at that. 1,000 zombies for $100,000. I didn't know you could buy zombies. A very long time ago, a necromancer by the name of... Oh, dear. Hi. <laughs> I like that. By the name of Oh Dear, created the zombie virus. He infected a couple of the local people with it. Now, this was back in the day before, well, before much of anything. Back in the caveman times. And the zombie virus, well, people at the time, they could barely speak, much less understand the greater mysteries of modern medicine. But essentially, the zombie virus, for those of you who've never heard of it, will raise those who are dead from the dead and they will become the living dead wait a minute this is it's kind of confusing is it anyway you die you get back up you bite people you spread the virus and the zombie plague takes over the world luckily anyone with a third grade level of history knows that well some angels came from another realm and basically rid the world of the zombie virus because while the necromancer was powerful the Chronomancer and his Divine Arbiters were more so. But, it begs the question of what would have happened if zombies attacked man during the time of the musket. The Napoleonic era, the American Civil War. What would have happened? Would slow reloading muskets, cannons, cavalry, would those be able to stand up to the sheer ferocity and insanity that is the zombie? Plague? Can lines of musketmen? Oh my gosh. Line battles versus zombies. Wait a minute. How did this guy die? Oh, <laughs> this is bad. Oh my gosh. I thought these guys were going to wipe out the zombies. But it does ask the question can muskets and bayonets really do that good against a zombie epidemic? And oh my god, I don't think the answer is yes. When you look at this battle, that was almost 50 soldiers. Some were in a picket line and some were charging with bayonets, but somehow there was a friendly fire incident that miraculously, or I guess unmiraculously so, killed one of these guys and diverted most of the attention. I think if they're able to reload quick enough, they might know. Oh my gosh. Lines of muskets are amazing and can do so much damage in a nice, beautiful salvo. But is it enough? Because the muskets just take so long to reload that they're gonna need to develop all sorts of new weapons. Now, would they have a better chance if we gave them a general? Let's give them a default general. And obviously, they're going to need artillery pieces. Another weapon that was very powerful at the time was the semi-automatic revolving pistol. A new technological development but its higher rate of fire may have been able to deal with the zombies just a little bit better by the very nature of, oh, I don't know. Oh my God, that bomb almost hit this officer. By the very nature of the fact that your fire rate is greatly increased. Now remember, the Gatling gun was in the process of being developed during this era. Oh gosh, somehow we had some cannon friendly fire. Wait a minute, if they're all looking this way, how did a bomb go off over here? These guys are gonna turn into zombies. This almost made it worse. I don't know how. Oh man, but artillery, high explosive artillery seems to be good. But you have to keep in mind that if a guy dies by anything, but by especially by a zombie, well, they're gonna turn into zombies. So the blue team was victorious. They pulled out the win. And one begs the question, well, why fight on battlefields? when you can use fortifications to better your chances of surviving a zombie apocalypse. What if the Battle of Fort Sumter of the American Civil War was actually fought between the Union boys in blue versus the zombie plague? What if the Confederates used zombies? Well, that would be the totally accurate American Civil War that they don't tell you about in the history books now, wouldn't it? It's a pretty decently defended fortress. Nothing crazy, but at the beginning of the war, Fort Sumter didn't have a lot. Now, there are 58 defenders of this Union Fortress. And currently, we're gonna send 100 zombies against them and see if, with the manpower and weapons that they have available, can they withstand multiple waves of zombies? Can they even withstand 100? I think the lower rate of fire might mean that they might not be very effective. However, 
There is a Union General and a few officers back here with a number of muskets. So as the zombies start spilling in, they're going to take heavy losses. However, in most cases, you got to remember that for every Union soldier that dies, that is one additional zombie added to the enemy team. But it sure looks like they were able to hold this off. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more to the defenders and, in, and double the enemy zombie waves, right? So we've got 100 zombies. Now we've got 200 zombies. And I'm thinking we're going to need to go to the secret weapons. What is this? What are these secret units? I'm not sure, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. We're going to give them a Gatling gun. And to defend this Gatling gun, a few more soldiers, as well as two heavy cannons up on the upper ridge. So I think in order for this to be successful, what's going to have to happen is this Gatling gun is going to have to kick it off pretty early because the enemy zombie waves being already 200 means probably that this fortress isn't looking like it's going to be able to hold too long. All right, he's starting to crank it up. But is it a little bit too little too late? I was kind of expecting him to be a little more passive, not like, oh, I'm going to plug the hole and he's dead. Uh, I think it's safe to say that that placement for the Gatling gun was absolutely terrible. And as a result, I fear that the Union Fortress of Sumter will fall to the undead. Yeah, look at that. I love how the zombies are light green and you can see which enemies are fight or, you know, which Union soldiers have turned to zombies because they are a darker green. What's interesting, though is I didn't really account for this. The zombies in this one can't really build like, you know, did you ever see the movie World War Z? How the zombies, oh my God, the inhumanity that the zombies would create like these like towers and bridges, almost like the ants and empires of the undergrowth, like where you could build a bridge across the water. Oh my gosh, the zombies little hoo, 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 is actually kind of terrifying in its own way. But I think it's safe to say that while there's a few people left alive, the fortress has fallen to the enemy. Oh, and so did that soldier. He fell to the enemy and now they are snacking good. So the Gatling gun here just did not work. I'm really kind of curious where we can put it. Maybe adding two bomb cannons out here on the periphery. They're gonna get, they're gonna lose pretty quickly or rather the union will lose access to them. <laughs> oh gosh. Ragdoll physics in slow motion just like never stops being entertaining. I I just love it. Fire that cannon. If you guys don't get two shots off, I can't say that it was worth it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. If it gets a third shot, each cannon, I think the union has a good chance. They only got two salvos off, man. Zombies move pretty quickly and now the rest of the fortress seems to be collapsing I think what would be really cool is if you could mod this game to the point where you wouldn't just have cannons and exploding ball cannons But you would also have mortars mortars create these highly explosive projectiles, right? And they were pretty well used during the Napoleonic era. Oh my goodness. We have a very rare treat today guys We have a cyclops <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's glorious. Okay, I think it's safe to say that the fort would have fallen once again, especially with the friendly fire that the cannons are creating. So the last attempt for them to hold the fortress, who is this guy, a crusader? We're gonna give them a few bomb throwers up on the walls. So now they have 81 soldiers, zombies 200. So the zombies outnumber them over two to one. Oh my gosh. The bomb in slow motion? Yes! Oh, I love the smell of high explosives in the morning. Although I can't smell them through my computer monitor. But they're definitely fun to watch. Oh, wow. The bombs are doing really, really good. So maybe for lack of higher rate of fire, you need more explosive firepower per shot. Therefore, bombs and bomb cannons, since we don't have mortars, are definitely the recipe here. Look, the inner walls of the fortress haven't even been breached or they're just being breached right now, but the defenders are actually holding their own fairly decently. Now, there are a few bomb throwers back here. Now, it's kind of funny because you have your union soldiers, right? And you're like, all right, gentlemen, uh, make sure your collars are popped and your hats are nice. I don't know why I'm using the British accent. And then this guy's like, oh, you know what? I made capris out of my pants, right? Uh, and I've got these big boom boom sticks is uh, sticking out my pockets, right? And uh, they're just like, I don't know, man. It's a little bit off-putting. These guys clearly aren't Union soldiers, but maybe it would just be like the local people. They realize, oh, the zombie apocalypse 
will kill everything. Oh no! The band director has just fallen into the zombies, but the Union has finally held the fort by use of explosives. Now what I want to do is see about a thousand zombies. I think my computer's gonna die though, but we're gonna try it. First step, zombies. Wow, that is a long line. That's what a hundred zombies in a line looks like. Two hundred. We have over five hundred. Eight hundred. Look at that. 1,000 zombies for $100,000. I didn't know you could buy zombies. Now, up against them, we are going to have... I don't know why I think this is a good idea for my frames, but I want lots of hawachas. If I wanted to fight this many zombies, I would definitely want heavy artillery. I would want a lot of bomb cannons. We've got 110 muskets. And then I think the last thing that we need is some Gatling guns. Not the last thing. I mean, this is not going to work more than likely. Assuming my game doesn't even break. Okay. Oh god. I'm on slow motion here and uh, I don't know what the frames are. Wait, am I in slow motion or am I in freeze? Oh, okay, we're in slow motion. We have maybe a frame a second. I'm not sure if it's gonna stabilize once more the enemies get destroyed, but this is what a thousand units a thousand nations of the Persian Empire descends on you. Uh we have a loose staccato, a very slow rate of firing from these muskets as they fire individually. There goes the Hawachas. Now, if we could make those Hawachas explosive. Oh, look at these explosions just ripping through the lines. Yes. Come on, soldiers, hold your ground. Don't give an inch. Give them nothing, but take from them, well, at least their lives. Because if you don't, you're going to become a zombie. And that's just bad. All right, it's bad for business. It's bad for our chances of winning this battle. I feel like we did a whole salvo, and it doesn't look like we did almost anything to that incoming line of zombies. I think I might be at a frame per second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah, I don't know, man. But those Hawatches are doing pretty decently. But here's where the stuff is going to hit the fan. All right, what happens? Oh, God, I'm, I'm kind of scared to do it. What if I take off slow motion? This is what it looks like in slow, uh, in regular motion. It looks like it's slow motion. <laughs> it looks like I didn't need to manually hold the button for slow motion. Oh man, the Hawatches are doing friendly fire right there. Did you see that? Oh no. I'm afraid to move the camera just because we won't be able to get it back to like a really good shot. So this is what it looks like. I think the zombies just absolutely destroy them. I'm afraid to do any more units on the Union side, but Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this zombies versus line battle musket troops in totally accurate battle simulator. If you guys have some ideas of videos that you'd like to see in tabs, we'll leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And the zombies, wait a minute. The zombies might not win. All right, we're back to slow motion just to see this. Watches are firing. I I'm wondering if there's enough firepower over here. All the Gatling guns are dead, but most of the Hawatches are alive. Ooh, a little bit of friendly fire from, was it a musket soldier? Oh, the Gatling guns are still alive. I think they're gonna hold out. Unbelievable developments. Okay, all the cannons are dead. The Hawatches are still firing. Come on guys, can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, this is gonna be so close. Oh no, the Hawatches are misfiring. This is not the time to misfire. Can three Gatling guns do it? I think they can. I think they can. Unbelievable. So that's what you needed. Oh my gosh. The blue team was victorious. Look at this. When we press play, the amount of time it's going to take for these things to load in is going to be nuts. That army defeated... I, uh, my, my camera can't even turn that way. I, uh, I've broken the game in a way not surprisingly okay well that's gonna do it